Hey everybody, welcome back into the studio gallery. So today I have a little three minute snippet of you of uh, feeding some black capped chickadees. As you may or may not know, the last two weeks have been very stressful. We've had files that are uh, ghosting that we can't open up in Final Cut Pro to edit. And uh, we've had a tree come down on the house and had to get other ones cleared out. <clears throat> so I needed to do something for a little bit of stress release. And one of the things I love to do just to unwind is to take the camera, take the sketchbook, go out in the field, do some field work, and just unwind doing what I do. And the one thing that uh, I really, really, really love doing is feeding the black cap chickadees that are behind our house. So my wife Sue and I have uh, gained the trust of a little flock of black caps that will eat right out of our hand. And we even have a little nut hatch that's starting to uh, jump on the hand. He doesn't stay very long. And most of the time he takes off without even taking the, any seed out of our hand, but he's, he's getting there. He's getting to the point where he's gonna start feeding out of our hand pretty soon. So this video is just a little three minute snippet of them eating out of our hands. I've uh, slowed down the video in some areas so you can see how much rhythm and, and power there is in those little wings and <clears throat> how they dive bomb. It's, it's amazing the way they fly, how they flap and then drop and flap and drop. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool to watch. So anyways, three quick little three minute video. I mean, how many minutes can you watch of a bird eating food out of some guy's hand, right? But it is a uh, very entertaining three minutes and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So remember, everybody stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands, be good to each other and happy painting. So for me, there's nothing more exhilarating than feeding wild chickadees. Just to have a wild animal trust you enough to come, land on your hand, take food from you, and interact with them. It's just exhilarating to me. And it's actually quite easy to get these guys to uh, start doing this from you, but it does take some time. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of patience. So here's a couple of tricks that you can uh, do to get these chickadees to feed from your hand. So the first thing you want to do is gain or earn the uh, black cap chickadee's trust. And how do you do that? Well, I started by simply sprinkling seed on the ground, just a couple of feet in front of me and letting them come and graze on it and take it without making any kind of movements, any kind of gestures towards them or attempting any kind of interaction with them. This just established a, uh, a little bit of a bond between them that they trusted me, that I wasn't a threat and that in fact, I was becoming a food source. So that's the first thing is uh, just spread seed out in the general area that you are and just stay there, enjoy them, photograph them, no sudden movements, no movements towards them, nothing threatening. Okay, and that's step number one. So the next natural progression is to put a little seed in your hand and have them come to you. Now this is a very slow process and it will take some patience. I think I spent probably about a week to two weeks of just having the seed in my hand and have them do uh, mock fly ups where they'd fly towards my hand and at the last second they pull off and go back to the safety of the branches. So this is pretty natural because it's still a wild animal. It's a little hesitant, but eventually there'll be that one brave soul that'll come land on the hand, take a seed, and then the floodgates will open. All of them will come one by one. In fact, they'll start competing for the uh, right to uh, land on your hand and take the food. Now, once you do have them feeding out of your hands, we've got to practice responsible feeding. And what I mean by that is, don't feed them too often or they will not forage for themselves. So typically in the summer, I'll only feed them maybe once a month because food is plentiful. Whereas in the winter, maybe every other week, I'll go out and they'll uh, let them feed from my hand and get some great shots. So if you're going to uh, interact with them and enjoy them, do it responsibly, folks, okay? So there's a couple of tricks. Hope you can get them to feed out your hand if you can. There's no better thrill that you'll ever experience than feeding a wild chickadee.